This is another segment from one of Edmodo's own training videos. This segment looks at creating assignments. First, let's look at assignments. For assignments, we'll show you how to create them, how students will submit them, and how to see submissions and provide feedback. Assignments are a great way to create a paperless classroom, provide opportunities for professional development, and most importantly, provide essential formative feedback and allow for multiple opportunities for learning and communication of progress. From within your group, you can create a post. To create an assignment, click on Assignment. Type the title and description of the assignment, add files, links, or items from your library. Perhaps it's a journal entry, or maybe you'd like your students to submit a specific file after watching a video clip. All this can be done through the assignment post. To save you time in the future, you have the option to load past assignments by clicking Load Assignment. This feature allows you to duplicate assignments you've used in the past. Next, add the due date or schedule the post for the future and pick the group you'd like to send it to. Each assignment shows up as a post on the group member's account. When an assignment is posted to the group, the members can click the Turn In button to submit an assignment. Now from your teacher account, you'll see Turned In to see how many members have turned in the assignment. When students begin to turn in the assignment, you'll see the number of Turn Ins increase on the post bubble. Click on Turned In and you'll be taken to the Assignment View page. From here, you'll see a list of your students in the left side panel. You can easily see who has turned in the assignment when you click on an individual student, you will see his or her work. From here, you can grade the assignment in the top right and add comments below. You can also choose a reaction to let the student know what you thought of the submission. Assignment owners can respond to you and even redo their work and attach their work to a follow-up comment, creating a portfolio of feedback that captures the learning path of each person. Grades get populated in the gradebook under the progress icon in the selected group. If the assignment is a Word document, you can also choose to annotate the assignment. Parent accounts or co-teachers associated with a student will see all communication as well. This creates strong collaboration between all those invested in the learning process. 